United States have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. Are you guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America? We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if? Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! We're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go. God bless America. Civil War movie. Was it good? Was it bad? Go ahead and drop your opinion down there in the comment section. And while you're at it, go ahead and like and share, then subscribe. So, quick overall of the movie. Uh, it was a 7 out of 10 for me. Um, really, uh, I thought it would be more combat scenes and everything like that. But uh, I'm really here today to break it down and explain things a little bit more thoroughly because, you know, they didn't really give too much information and they really started in the middle of things. So uh, other than that, let's roll into it. All right, so before we get started, I'm gonna talk about myself. Uh, I've been prepping for about two years for a scenario like this, you know, civil unrest, uh, Red Dawn invasions, you know, tyranny, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, that's why I gave it a seven out of 10. It was very realistic. Um, it was just uh, some things I just don't think would have been going on how they made it. Um, the, the the riots that they use in the videos, the quote unquote, you know, like civil unrest. I was about, I was at uh, every single one of those scenes that they showed, except for when they flipped the car. So um, I know a little bit about civil unrest. So George Floyd uh, riots, I was there. We had another riot in Minneapolis, but a couple months later, I was there. Dante Wright uh, riots, <clears throat> I was also there. So I have a little bit of, you know, experience dealing with civil unrest and uh, seeing firsthand what the fuck goes on, right? Um, the movie, like I said before, was a seven out of 10. They claimed it was going to be the best, you know, combat film, war film. They lied. They straight up lied. You had to, number one, you had to beat Saving Pirate Ryan. And then you had to beat, uh, 13 hours, uh, Battle of Benghazi. That's hard to beat. Michael Bay, you're not doing that. Um, they only have two good scenes. I want to say, um, they had a civilian versus government which I'll break down, you know, guy got shot in a uh, spleen or whatever, he was gushing out. That's what made it so combat nice, okay. Um, then they had another one at the end, um, which is, it was really good, you know, but I just don't see it being how easily they got to the government. But you know, um, it is a movie at the end of the day, uh, made by A24, they also made mid 90s, which I'm a big fan of, but now I'm rambling, so let's keep going, right? Um, the movie had a bunch of sponsors in there. I'm going to read the list off. Um, so we had EOTech, Daniel Defense, Aero Precision, Trijicon, Colt, HK, and Magpul. These are all the notes I wrote down during the video. 
Um, <clears throat> EOTech. EOTech had the, I swear they had them paid for the most biggest sponsor because every, every, even the civilian ARs, everybody had an EOTech with a magnifier. Everybody. And if everyone knows, everyone doesn't run an EOTech on their kids. We got Hollow Suns, Vortex, Burris. Uh, I mean, we do have some EOTechs, but everybody, we got primary arms. So, like, the fact that everyone had EOTechs and then they had, uh, so, like, if you look, I'm not going to show you, but if you look, I'll put it on the screen. We normally have this normal sign EOTech, but they had the, the L3 EOTechs, the company they parted from from 2020, in 2020. Uh, they had them just, you know, on every optic. And it was just, you know, annoying to see because it was just really a money grab, you know. It's supposed to be Civil War. Let's make it a little bit more, you know, realistic, right, you know. Um, Colt had everything. I seen Daniel Defense on one guy's gun, and I'm pretty sure it was just furniture. It wasn't none of their uppers. I'm pretty, you know, familiar with their uppers. And it was, I just kept seeing Colt, 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 Colt. And then I saw one AK and then uh, whatever company AK they had. And then uh, Trigicon was also one of the other optics. They had ACOGs on uh, civilians, which is very rare. And then they had, you know, government, military that had Trigicon as well. <clears throat> uh, then the Secret Service had HK. And then, you know, all the furniture on every AR or M4 platform they had was Magpul. Everything besides the one guy that had the uh, DD Daniel Defense uh, furniture. <clears throat> So what it's about is about uh, these reporters, you know, that work for some press, you know, there's always war press going on wherever you are, whatever conflict that's going on in the world. And they want to go and question the president, right? And this president right now <clears throat> is, sounds like he's just starting it, just, you know, going out. He's on his third term, red flag, because, you know, our president's going to get two terms and then you're out of here. He disbanded the FBI. So pretty sure that's the people that would charge him for the... <clears throat> The third term, he got them out of here. What else? And then um, it looks like, you know, California and Texas banded together uh, to go against to, uh, to go against this, uh, the government, you know, basically the president and the government that follows them. And also they uh, the government, you know, the U.S. president used uh, artillery, you know, missile strikes against civilians. I don't know if they said that in a trailer or anything like that, but they also. <clears throat> so um, in my opinion. The government, that's that's high tyranny. You know, the government's using, you know, U.S. arms against U.S. civilians. I'm not seeing anybody staying along that. Civilian, civilians is going to get up. The Boogaloo Boys is going to tear you down. And then you got, you know, state governments that's going to rip you up. Hence, that's why California and Texas joined up in this movie to go against, you know, D.C., basically. So, basically, when they were going along uh, to... You know, go question the president. You know, they had to travel from New York to D.C. It's about 800 miles. And you, you had to go through all the bullshit, you know. So the lawlessness, the, the lawlessness, which is, you know, you don't got no cops. You, there's no one coming to save you. So you basically got to take up on arms and defend yourself, defend your families. And I'll say it right now, 85 percent of America is not ready to do that. You might have a gun. And that don't mean nothing. You're not training. You're not preparing yourself mentally. You're going to be pretty, you're going to get steamrolled. So, you know, it really showed the big, you know, picture of how things would be if things, you know, wasn't in a right, rightful order manner. You know, people at refugee camps at big stadiums, uh, you know, crime, you know, people just being, they had a scene where two dudes were looting and they just hung them. And it was like, you want to kill them or should we let them go after we beat them? You make a decision like having fun with it, you know, while asking, uh, you know, you have gas permit you don't have gas permit you're not getting gas from us like it's that strict law that they got going on but right now i'm just rambling again let's get back on topic here now i got a couple points you know that takes or whatever that i want to you know bring up on like uh ca banning up with texas i really don't see that happening ever you know just because they have two different beliefs um but let's just look in the scenario you know of the movie scenario of them combining each other uh if it's just DC's government versus uh, Ca uh, California and uh, Texas state's government, they're getting rolled. Uh, you know, just because on top of that, you have you civ the civilian of Texas, you know, their their weaponry is just out of this world. You know, the civilians that are die hard, you know, that would that hate tyranny are, you know, ready to roll. And then on top of that, you have all the bases that are in California and Texas. 
So we're gonna start off with California. I don't know all the bases, but I'm gonna name the main two. You got Coronado Naval Base, right? That shit is huge. I used to live like four blocks from there. Nothing but ships, right? And then you got Camp Pendleton where the Marines go to, you know, uh, train, you know, you get recruited, you go train out there. Uh, and a lot of them are stationed there. My uncle was stationed there, right? Then we have Texas. There's there's a big list. I got to, I didn't want to write it for Texas. I'm in California, so I wrote it for Texas, though. We got Fort Bliss. We have Corpus Christi. My uncle is there now, you know, retired Marine. Uh, we got Laughlin Air Force Base, Shepard Air Force Base, Goodfellow Air Force Base, Red River Army Depot. D.C. has D.C. You know, I, I mean, they got good stuff to protect the president, but D.C. has D.C. You got all this, plus your civilians, Boogaloo Boys, and what other states going to swarm D.C. and their tyranny, because that's exactly what it sounds like with the third term disbanding FBI, you know, bombing U.S. citizens. Yeah, they're coming to get you, buddy. So um, just letting you know, I don't see in the real scenario, D.C. is falling folly but anyway so some of the takes i want to you know point out that they did kind of get right about a civil unrest that i feel like is you know the packed highways the highway system was horrible you got but you I mean half halfways you know probably someone came in and pushed it out like the, you know military or whatever heavy forces but highways were packed you know they had a route from the go to new york but they had to go all the way from pennsylvania to come around just to go to swoop into dc so i'll let you know how routes would be so like planning ahead you know having routes or maps what shows you uh prepping for stuff like that you know me being a prepper is so important because that's exactly what's gonna happen you got everyone just trying to leave the city packing these highways and one thing happens on that highway you guys aren't going nowhere the whole fucking shit is stuck so you just packed all that shit whatever you have and now it's gonna be stuck in that car so that's remember you always pack light enough what you can carry and don't don't carry to where you look like an armed militia because like in the movie, they had checkpoints. So, and, it, and it, they don't care who you are because these boys have been fighting for days up. So if you're not one of them and you're looking, coming there looking like pff, armed to the teeth with a AR, AK, whatever it may be, and you're not one of them, likely they're gonna fry you up or you're gonna make you dip, dig a ditch and you know, they're still gonna fry you up. So another thing is PID. They had heavily, they had one scene where the PID was really great, and I'm, I'm uh, people might not agree with me, was uh, the scene with the, the dude with the colorful fingernails, right? Uh, the colorful hair. I honestly, my take from that was they weren't, you know, on that side, you know, it was for PID. You can be out here for months and months and months. You All it is is when you're, especially when you're, it's Americans versus Americans, we all got the same year we shop at. Bass Pro, whatever shop, you know, got the same weapons, you know, and uh, it's going to be hard to identify each other, right? Especially we all speak the same English. So what I seen was those guys, you know, painting their hair, painting their nails, because uh, once they get back to camp and, you know, they see their other colleagues, their other, uh, you know, their other people that are in their platoon or whatever they call it, uh, got these same colorful, you know, same things on their kits or hair or whatever, that's positive identification, you come back to my camp and you don't have shit like that, you're not one of us, bud. So uh, that's the only reason why, like that's the reason why I think they did that. You know, everyone's just saying like, oh, it's America, of course they're gonna have rainbow boys in here. And that, I honestly don't think that was the case. Um, like I said, they have refugee camps. Uh, the checkpoints, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna have checkpoints, you know? So don't be out here looking like a militia because it might get you and your family just knocked off, right? Um, other than that, farmers, they had a point where farmers didn't care. Um, you know, they're out there in the middle of nowhere, so they don't really see too much of what's going on in the middle of Midwest, like here in Minnesota, um, which I could see, you know, they got the coast just battling out, you know, just wait it out and just see it because, you know, it really doesn't affect them. But eventually, if it really did get to Civil War where they had factions like they were um, anticipating like you know ca texas they had florida by themselves they were trying to recruit the carolinas dc were on their own so like you know eventually that would bleed into them so i honestly thought that was negligent negligent and stupid and then they also had small towns you know who still were in society you know buying the shopping and stuff which was rare to see but like i said once it gets to a cause like that where 
it's just so bad. They were no, never be going to normal. So it would eventually bleed into them. So um, society, once it gets that bad, society is going to be gone. It's going to be hard to to bring it back just because of lawlessness, uh, the people, the looting and everything that comes with it. So it's just going to be hard to get back on track. Okay. So before we go, uh, I do want to have, you know, bring up one thing that they did really get well as the private militia. Um, they have put one of my favorite actors up there and then he played that part so well. So when you do have a civil unrest, um, there's going to be private militias everywhere. I I've seen it personally with the George Floyd riots, you know, KKK, honestly. And then um, people don't care what's going on, you know, civil like DC, LA and whatever dcca texas that's what the, you know they they just see what they can do on their own agendas and that's what they're going to do they don't care what's going on they and most times it's a race thing or whatever it may be so the fact that they put that in there is um pretty great uh so it just you know gives an eye opener to people um but still i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten and i am gonna once i can be able to stream it and get you know more video on it i'm gonna show you guys where you guys messed up on one of the scenes because i saw a lot of blanks a lot of blanks you guys had a good film budget and you're still leaving blanks on the floor ar blanks come on man you said you're the best film but anyway uh i'm gonna get out of here uh make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe uh comment down below um and like i said CeeLo loves you if you love me peace